Call the honourable member for Morton. Deputy Speaker, last night I attended the Muslim Australia 50th anniversary dinner in the Great Hall. I heard a great speech uh, by the Leader of the Opposition, Bill Shorten. Uh, I tell you what united nearly everybody there, particularly the, Queenslander, the Queenslanders, uh, when I spoke to them, was the horrific changes proposed by this coalition government to Section 18, 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act, a piece of legislation that has served this multicultural nation so well for 40-odd years. Person on person spoke to me about it, whether they were from Queensland or other parts of Australia, to speak about these weakening protect the weakening protections against hate speech and how it is such a backward step for this nation. Twenty-four Islamic organisations in my home state united to produce a group submission outlining their concerns about the changes. And this uh, submission represented a great diversity of views from the Australian community. Their concerns that, th that these changes, flagged by the Attorney-General, would send the wrong message to offenders that hate speech is more acceptable in our society, opening the door to more abuse and to victims that their right to live free from racial or religious uh, vilification, abuse and intolerance would be diminished. And I am especially aware of how this would impact on school st students in my electorate if we give bigots the right to, uh, to say these things. Obviously, freedom of speech is a very important right, but it is not an absolute right and should not be abused or misused. Call the honourable member for Debell. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I welcome the news that phase one of work for the Dole will be